Continuing our work with master pages, something else we can add to a master page that will help our users navigate our help system is breadcrumbs. Now, breadcrumbs are basically those links you see across the top of your screen, for example, that display links right from within the topics. So the links display the user's position within the help system as it relates to the table of contents, and they can use those links to move around and navigate the various topics. Let's see what they look like by adding them to our master page. First thing we need to do is access the master page, and from the project setup pod, there it is, LDC master page that we've been working with. Let's double click it to open it up over here in our document pane. We've already used the footer area. The placeholder text for the body we're just leaving as is, but there is some white space above that where we might want to insert our breadcrumbs. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go up to insert. We're going to go down to placeholder this time, way down at the bottom, and you'll notice breadcrumbs there. Select that, and we see the breadcrumb options open up. So the home page name is by default named home. And if we click the drop down, there's some other choices there. Maybe top is more suitable. The separator itself, you can see defaults to that greater than sign. And there are different options for separators. These are between the individual breadcrumbs. If you wanted to, you could add to that maybe a space on either side, for example, just so as you look down at the preview, they're not too crowded in together. So from the top, you can see it goes to the next topic and so on. It'll keep track of where users go in our help system. We can even change some of the formatting. For example, the background color we could change. Right now, you can see just the white background, but we can click this little color icon and change the background to something else. I'm going to leave it as white. I'm not too worried about that. The style from the topic can actually be used in the breadcrumbs as well if you want some consistency. So let's click that checkbox and you can see how it changes our preview. By default, it's going to appear on the right-hand side of our page. It's right aligned. I like that. So let's click OK. And you can see there's a breadcrumbs placeholder up here across the top just above our body. We need to save our changes now. So we'll save up our LDC master page. And to really see what this looks like and how it works, we should regenerate and preview this by going to our web help, single source layout, and double clicking. Next, we'll click Save and Generate. We'll let it recompile. And when we see the View Result button, we'll give it a click to see how this works in our default browser. So if you're seeing the message about blocked content, just click it and allow that blocked content. And now what you're going to see in the top right-hand corner are the breadcrumbs. So as we go through our various topics, for example, clicking around, you can see how it's showing us where we are in relation to the other topics and our table of contents. So we're browsing by software in this case. We can go up to browsing. You can see this is showing us navigation. We can go right to the top. That's our welcome page. And the breadcrumbs just give us another option, an enhanced navigational aid to help our users get around our help system.